The MOF device is an FDA cleared uh, medical device that is uh, utilized uh, for the uh, detoxification of uh, uh, patients with opioid use disorder. Uh, the device is, works by uh, causing uh, electrical stimulation to the innervation supply to the uh, external ear uh, which are derived from uh, two cranial nerves as well as uh, two somatic nerves from, that originate from the cervical plexus. Electrical stimulation of these nerves can cause uh, or does cause the release of uh, neuropeptides into the spinal fluid. Those neuropeptides uh, are uh, primarily uh, endorphins and enkephalins are uh, released into the spinal fluid such that they occupy the receptors uh, in the uh, dopamine reward system uh, consisting of the mu and delta receptors. Uh, it has been shown and demonstrated in the literature that, uh, that uh, this is what actually occurs uh, in the process because it was reversed by the administration of naloxone uh, leading to the conclusions that it was uh, a mu response uh, mediated uh, mechanism. The device consists primarily of a computerized chip that is programmable uh, that produces an electrical current uh, uh, at a frequency that's preset. Uh, Frequencies are generally between uh, 10, uh, correction, 2 uh, to 9 hertz. Uh, it is found that endorphins are released primarily at a uh, frequency of uh, 2, to 4 hertz, 2 to 4 hertz of stimulation, uh, and then kephalins uh, somewhere around 10, uh, 6 to 10 uh, hertz. So the device consists of four electrodes. Uh, one electrode is a ground wire and the other three are applied to various points on the ear that are identified uh, for the treatment specifically uh, for uh, addiction. Um, when the device is applied, uh, it is uh, programmed and uh, uh, the, the frequencies are set and the device is checked for proper voltage after the batteries are activated. People that are, uh, have a chronic use of opioids uh, are accustomed to having their mu receptors occupied by that uh, exogenous uh, opioid on a regular basis. When those receptors then become vacant in the opioid addicted patient, uh, withdrawal starts by stimulation of the local ceruleus, uh, which causes the release of noradrenergic uh, compounds, leading to all of the withdrawal symptoms. Uh, that being, uh, including the anxiety, goosebumps, uh, hot and cold sweats, uh, abdominal uh, discomfort and cramps and diarrhea, uh, in addition to lacrimation and rhinorrhea. Uh, once the uh, device is applied and it causes the release of endogenous endorphins, those endorphins then occupy those vacant receptors and the withdrawal symptoms begin to dissipate over a period of 10 to 30 minutes. Um, the uh, relief of, of the withdrawal symptoms again is associated with endorphins occupying those vacant receptors uh, and um, it's been shown to be quite effective in uh, and ameliorating all of the withdrawal symptoms.